Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. I'm going to look at you and your person and see how they feel about you. What their next move is going to be, what's going to happen next and so on. So let's see. What's this person's energy towards Aquarius? What's their energy towards Aquarius? Why aren't the cards flying? Okay. Queen of Cups. Any more on this person's energy towards Aquarius? All right. They seem kind of burdened by their, their own emotions. Um, with this Queen of Cups, they, they are making it harder for themselves. It's kind of like they're, they're making a big deal out of nothing. I'm hearing that saying, um, mountain out of something. I don't, I don't even, I've heard it being said. I just heard it in my head and I'm, I, don't, I don't know how to finish it. They're making a mountain out of something. And there's a mountain here too. Yeah, that's why. So I feel like um, this person, they have all these emotions with the Queen of Cups, but for them, it doesn't have to be a burden, but they're making it a burden. Like they're making a big deal out of the fact that they are feeling so much, that they have, I feel like there's a whole bunch of different emotions going on with this person. Maybe they just can't get a grip. We have the Ace of Cups, so I do see with all these cups that are here that it's all about emotion and the, this person's inability to um, figure them out, I guess. So let me see, what's this person, sorry, I already said that. What's Aquarius energy towards their person? Aquarius energy towards their person. Show me Aquarius energy towards their person. Wow, you have, you have, I mean, well, Aquarius, you like to communicate because you're an air sign, but you got two pages when it comes to this person. You have something to say to them. You have a message for this person. Some of you, um, some of you are dealing with a, it's like a dating situation where you don't really, you're not really serious about them yet. That's only for a small amount of you, I feel. But for those of you who are really invested with this person, I see that you have a lot to get off your chest, right? But some of you might be long distance from your person. And some of you might be hesitant to send that message. You're in the contemplation, like, how do I start this conversation? Do I even start this conversation? Okay, what's the recent past energy for Aquarius? Okay, your cards are finally flying. Libra energy. We have Justice. We have the Seven of Swords. The lovers. Some of you may have walked away from this person in the recent past because of cheating or something. Something you felt that was unfair and you felt that it was fair for you to walk away. Or it could be vice versa. Maybe you did something and they walked away and you said, okay, fair enough type of thing. What is the energy of this connection? What's the energy of this connection for Aquarius? We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Sun, Queen of Wands, could be a Leo, but I do see this relationship having so much potential with this King of Pentacles and the Sun, there's a lot of positivity, um, you both have, you both share the same passion here to make this work, let me see, show me what's going on with Aquarius. Okay. 
So we have photograph. Looking at photos. No. Looking at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. So this person is missing you. I feel like if, the, if you're in separation, it's because of their emotional confusion right now. And they're, but they're still watching you. We have date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back out there. Plan. Set a date. So he might be dating this person or dating. Because we do have two people here. But these could also be two situations that are not really serious yet for some of you. We have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Have faith and love is coming. Surprise, invitation or meeting and hesitation. We also have wedding rings. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. There's someone who you are connecting with more strongly than others. Like some of you might be dating, but there's one person who you actually want. So let me see. Let's see what's going on with this person. person that Aquarius is dealing with show me their energy when it comes to Aquarius how do they feel what is their next move gonna be give me an outcome show me this person Aquarius is dealing with We've got the Ten of Wands again, and you see, this is in the position of how they feel about you. This is their emotions. So again, with the emotional baggage, emotional confusion, them not knowing what to do with these feelings. <clears throat> We've got the Moon, the Hermit, so Pisces, Cancer Energy, and Virgo. Fellow Aquarius Energy, more Cancer Energy. All right, so this person cl clearly has pulled away because we have the Seven of Swords. I feel it has to do with the, the feelings that they're carrying. Um, the moon, they're seeing the relationship as the moon, so they're confused about how the relationship is. Like, it's, it's like they have feelings and they don't know. For some of you, they don't know where, where they stand with you or where this is going to lead to. So it's like kind of like what if i get hurt you know they need to be they need to feel more sure i feel like they don't feel stable emotionally and they're seeing you as the hermit so they're seeing you as being withdrawn to yourself you know some of you may be distant or they're just perceiving this as you being distant and this obviously would lead them to be in this moon energy where they don't have a clue what's really going on. They're kind of in the dark about where this relationship is going. They don't want um, this Knight of Pentacles energy. This is the fear. So they're thinking, you know, things are not moving. This is scary because I have feelings and I need things to either move or I need to get rid of these feelings. So they're confused about what to do <laughs> with the feelings here. We've got the the stars as their wishes this person does wish for expansion they wish for a really good outcome a positive outcome for this relationship um they are want there are it's like they're willing to put whatever effort they can forward but as long as they know where they stand or as long as they know what's going on behind the scenes because they may think there's there's things hidden from them they may assume that you're dating other people. Some of you are. So there you go. If you are, this person is like worried. So we have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Swords. They they kind of want to put you on a pedestal. What's blocking with the Knight of Swords blocking? It's like, this is like a test in time. For me, when the Knight of Swords is blocking, it does mean that is a temporary separation and that this is just going to be 
kind of a storm that passes through your relationship to challenge the both of you. So yeah, their next move is the chariot. They, they do seem to be coming forward, still unsure of what's going to happen. And that's why they're coming towards you with an armor, you know, protecting their chest, their heart, their emotions, because they don't know exactly what's going to happen. The, the future makes this person nervous. So we have the eight, sorry, the eight, the four of wands in the position of what you need to know. I do feel like you need to know that this person's feelings are there and they're not going anywhere. And that's why this person is having such a hard time. Um, it's just for you to let them know what's, what it is, you know, nine of cups as the outcome, wish fulfillment. I feel like they will get their wish because I feel like some of you will grant the wish for them like tell them how you feel but let's see what what's going on with you let's see show me aquarius in this situation how do they feel about this connection what's going on with aquarius Yeah, outcome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, outcome for Aquarius. Okay, so you do have feelings for them. You do have feelings for them, but you have this person confused. They could be an Aries, they could be a Sagittarius. Ace of Swords, so resurrection for this relationship. We have you feeling deeply for this person, some of you, or feeling some kind of spiritual connection with the High Priestess, but the world and the four of pentacles what's going on you kind of see this person as holding back being protective of their heart and i told you why they're doing that <laughs> so some of you may kind of think that the relationship is over because this person may be acting weird like they may have distanced themselves um, because of how they're feeling some of you don't want to be controlled like you don't want to be under someone's control you don't want to be held down um and some of you might be juggling with the two of pentacles as i saw earlier there could be some crushes involved like you have a crush and you're trying to decide who you want to choose for some of you also if it's not if that's not the case it could just be you trying to make a decision on this person with this two of pentacles and kind of wishing you could finally come to a decision and we have the temperance in the center so divine timing here with the temperance and this knight of swords it's just what I've been saying, the rough times, it's just, it needs to happen for change to happen here. So everything is happening for a reason. What's blocking is the magician. The fact that some of you might feel like this person is trying to control you or trying to keep you in one place. Some of you are feeling the need to spread your wings, to still be with them, but spread your wings. And I guess, you know, you could feel nervous about them one into you know take control of the relationship so we have the six of wands this is your next move i see you kind of just moving forward i'm not saying without them but i see you kind of is it's more like self-focus some of you are focusing on you um you might be you may have like come out of a rough relationship and so now you're just kind of taking the time to to slowly observe and choose who you want to be with for some of you i do see with the three of swords you're needing to know that this person might be feeling heartbroken they might be feeling hurt um if you do have the third party situation they this could be hurting them 
but some of you are still needing to heal with the three of swords being here if it's not them it's it could be you because of your past relationships so some of you might be acting on acting off of pain like kind of wanting to just move forward and forget about the past but the past does need to be healed for some of you so we have the four of wands as the outcome things are going to stay like that that stability is going to be maintained throughout this rough patch here so everything's happening for a reason there might be a, a rough time happening but i see it i see it coming out on untouched like unharmed the relationship is coming out of this rough patch back to normal back to the way it was we love messages for Aquarius. Healing family issues as you, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Some of you need to make a decision. We have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, getting to know this person more. Or you're getting to know somebody. But this person, I feel like they need that. Like, they need something that makes them feel secure and safe to open up. Because while they don't feel secure, they're really worried about the feelings that they have. We have take action if you believe let go and compromise so somebody is needing to let go of the past if you're still dealing with heartbreak from a past relationship you're needing to heal so you can let go of that that way you can make it can be easier to make a decision on who you want to be with at this point because there'll be no more attachments to the past okay so you could be dealing with a cancer pisces virgo fellow aquarius aries taurus scorpio sagittarius those are the main signs that i'm seeing here but it could be any sign because we have knight of pentacles we have let's say virgo we have virgo yeah, it could be a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We don't have any more people here. Okay, those are the main signs that you, some of you are connecting with. Um, this is what I'm seeing for you. They just need to feel secure and then they will be able to make sense of their feelings and this relationship can get back to where it was, all right? So... Check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.